Hello, y'all. It's 10.42 a.m. I was able to, um, somebody donated and I had some help with, um, breakfast to eat. And also, I'm not going to eat lunch and I'll save the rest for dinner. The rest of the m donated money, I'll save it for dinner. So, you know how with us being targeted individuals, um, gang stalkers, they treat us all kinds of cruel and a lot of the times, you, you know, abusive narcissistic perps would treat us cruel for no reason. So a lady that gave me a problem a couple of times before, um, one of the other workers, I asked for butter and then I had to be referred to this lady. So this lady, um, you know how being targeted, they might lie and say that they don't have the product that you wish you could have um, or an item. So I asked for butter and, you know, for my food. And then um, I thought, I figured that the lady was just lying or being rude again. Or, I, th you know, you know. I thought she was lying or being rude or just didn't want to go and get any butter. You know how the perps treat us, you know. So I didn't realize that they really didn't have butter because you don't know if the perps be lying or telling the truth. So I went to one of the, ma the managers and asked her about the butter. And the lady said with an attitude, you know, when I told you we don't have none, we don't have none. Like that kind of attitude. And so the manager just took her word for it and said, oh, and she just repeated what the lady said, but in a nicer tone of voice, you know, and then the lady went and got me some butter from the back and said that um, it wasn't that I really was, you know, that she really wasn't supposed to be giving it to me or whatever. I mean, she said something about it's a special kind of um, butter that they, I guess that the workers use to cook with, and it's not the regular butter that they give us, you know. So then, yeah, the manager, she went and snuck and got me some butter that she said, oh, well, you know, we can't do this that the other lady, oh, she can't do that, you know, that she won't be able to, I guess, have the power or authority to um, give me any butter, you know. But I felt scared because that lady being ruled like that, I felt traumatized that it could have been, um, e that it could have easily escalated or blown out of proportion or me being wrongfully banned from here, you know. And that's like what happened at O'Reilly's that they wrongfully banned me just for trying to get syrup for my waffle. And I'm like, this is a different kind of prejudice, a special kind of prejudice, you know, with um, gang stalk, abusive narcissistic gang stalkers being prejudiced against us targeted individuals. You know, and so how they persecute us and treat us different, like if they might lie to me and say, oh, well, we don't have any more salt. And then I turn around and then they get, they give everybody else get salt as, you know, a condiment or something. Or if they lie to me and say, oh, we don't have no more orange juice, then the, the instant I turn my back, you know, the, the, the gaslighting and psychological games that they play. You know, so as I said, I felt mildly, psychologically, mentally, and emotionally traumatized. Um, like a few months ago, that worker, not the manager, the worker, she yelled at me and was rude to me for asking for cheese, a slice of cheese for my grits. And um, another time she got mad and yelled at me for, um, 
getting a bowl for dessert. Saying, oh, you're not supposed to take that bowl. You got to take the other such and such bowl or whatever. But she, she said it like, like, she acts like as if she hates her job. But I don't see her acting rude towards anybody else, though. I don't see her acting rude. To, that's like that teenage girl that, like, she's um, twice, her, twice her age. That, um, that tried to cheat me out the money, cheat me out my money. It was last week or the week before. And I felt shooken up and scared, you know. And it seemed like with abusive, narcissistic, gang-stalking relationships and associations with people, this is why I'm traumatized by humanity. Because it seemed like the smallest little thing that, damn, I get wrongfully banned and kicked out for the rest of my life over asking for butter? I mean, if they have a rude employee that's going to lie and get an attitude, you know, just because they don't like you, and then you, you go to the big bigger boss or the manager for confirmation, is this true? You know, and I'm not, I'm not around to try to start any trouble or anything like that, you know, but I'm feeling like mildly, psychologically, mentally, and emotionally traumatized by what just happened, you know. So thanks for the help, and I need to find a way to get me more sleep because I think I only got maybe an hour and a half of sleep this morning on the streets. And um, and I don't know, I, I need to get, I, I try to see about getting some more sleep or get a nap. And would like to try to work on some more writing. And I don't, I mean, I'll try to put my best foot forward, but me being sleep deprived, what do, what do I do? I'm at least trying. So I'm going to go for now. And thanks for the help. And I'm going to be needing help for tomorrow and the day after tomorrow as well. Um, You know, just at least for food for the next couple of days. But um, that's why I'm trying to work in, with the writings and try to earn. But they got me so sleep deprived that I can't even perform at my best with the forced homelessness and the sleep deprivation technology with, with the um, directed energy weapons and everything. So I'm going to go and thanks for the help. Thanks for the support. And I got to go now.